Halloween vibes here. <laughs> Hello, happy Halloween to everyone. Um, it's the time of the month wherein after the progress report comes the inky hands. So it's me, Cory, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be our November ink pens. So I curated my pens and also it's inking my new pens by the way so I have three new pens here one fairly very new and yes so I'm not gonna um, make it really like pen color of the same shades and stuff like the combination or pairing but I just I just felt like the purpose of each pen and how much ink I'm putting in it so anyway I'm gonna ink five inks for this month only five because as you all know I have my leftovers from the past month I have five here in total and plus my constant which is inked always with um, pilot to to oh I forgot the name <laughs> I will just put it there I have I've been inking so much lately today so these are from the September inks and oh no sorry October and one September and I have five more slots here so these 10 pen case from Galen leather are um, is always on my desk so for journaling for work and if you noticed um, I don't have any black inks for now uh, I, I know I have a carbon black I have a diatomantis but uh, I'm gonna rest it for a while and just use my uh, gel pens so in for this month i have three new pens and i'm gonna ink it left to right i've already inked them up because i don't i want to save time so for our first pen it's gonna be the new labon 325 cambridge that i got and uh, i inked this up with another new ink that i just um, inked this uh, previously this blue black from hongdian so if i have uploaded this first before that i this ink is featured in a new in another video so uh this is a blue black ink and let us just um write it down so in our on this side our progress report by the end of the month so i'm gonna just put this aside first so this is the laban three two five Cambridge inked up with the Hongdian Chinese brand by the way guys blue black so this Laban is in F I think so they don't put it here so the, the nib is from Germany but the pen is made in Taiwan so I hope I'm right F <laughs> and let's just create a little bit of swatch here so you can see the ink characteristics so this is the first pen for November we are into our blue black so this can also be my workhorse pen the reason I put a blue black here is that has a very big com converter so it can hold up a lot of ink and I can use this pen more so our next pen for November is the newest saffron I mean eco tea I have in saffron and I've inked this up with diamine autumn oak so uh, I really like to try this new color in that oldest ink one of the oldest ink I have so this is the twist B eco T I so I think this is in F and this is the saffron color so yes inked up with diamine autumn oak i think i have recently used this autumn oak no so oh it's in august so yeah and hello inky hands i don't know why my twist is leaking 
but or I've touched on it. This is me. So just pardon me guys. I always tend to touch this part and look at the damage. <laughs> so this is the Diamine Autumn Oak. Come back from September, I think. Oh no, August. So yeah. This ink. I know we're entering winter season i mean trend wise but we don't have winter here but yeah this is my saffron i just inked it half not really full because i know with twisby can last for three months <laughs> so I, I you know me i always have my monthly inked pens to rotate my entire my all of my pens third on my november pen ink ink pens is the comeback of my platinum 3776 the limited edition shape of heart so i like to use this pen this is in medium and yeah this is very generous and very smooth writing so because i ink this up with kelp tea um what is this again the brand <laughs> i forgot <laughs> brain freeze so this is uh a very 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 um let's say this ink has an attitude <laughs> it depends on what pen you're gonna put and it that's how it will behave so this time i'm gonna try it on a medium and let's see if the characteristic is showing and the the shading the proper shading so this is the platinum 3776 shape of heart in medium and inked up with kelp tea for the life of me what is the name brand let, let me get back to you so yeah kelp tea by troublemaker it's actually made in my home country and i forget about it <laughs> sad okay this is its shading guys it's kind of green, green gray more on green but yeah see it's coming out in this very very lovely good nib from platinum no scratch at all it just flows so much so let's see in our progress report later on so that's our third pen for november fourth pen is another new pen i just unboxed this and Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to card up the video here if you haven't yet. So this is the inking part for this new pen. 5AP ALR uh, Sunset Yellow. I've inked this up with the uh, Urban Ambre de Bermain. So I think I've used this way like August as well. It's just that um, I'll see if this is a good match color wise. So this is the uh, twist b 580 alr in sunset yellow again another fine i graduated with the af guys extra fine now i'm moving on <laughs> and this is inked up with urban Ambre, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but yes, this is Ambre de Bermain. Okay, and let's do some swatching here. I really, really hope I was torn between Golden Honey and this one, but I know already that Golden Honey is very yellow, and if I write it, it's I think this is much more closer to this pen agree to disagree <laughs> yes yeah so that's our fourth pen new pen actually of twisby and then our fifth one is oldest in my lineup here my Astorbrook first junior um, pen I think this is also named sunrise sunset Oh my god, I forgot the actual model name in Fine Nib. Now, again, another attitude ink is for me is the Cafe Crema. 
so I've used this up in my A23 and custom pilot was an A23 and other pens which are finer nib EF so it's not really really a good match and I'm hoping that with this Esterbrook this is the first junior um, Esterbrook that I have and it's really really a good nib for me juicy and generous writer as well so with the cafe crema on this let's hope for the best so this is the Esther Brook Junior let's just say the orange I forgot if this is a sunset something in F this is one of the first launch of this size and inked up with Robert Oster cafe crema I really like this ink but it's very yeah you need to choose the right pen look at that color guys so that's it I'm gonna give you a closer view closer look of my November ink pens I only have five in a blue reddish greenish yellowish and brown maybe I don't cover a lot of red because I still have here like I said I can carry out so this space is for our progress report and just excuse this <laughs> London Beauty sticker here PET tape I just want to add the vibes but actually it doesn't yeah maybe it can relate as well for the colors but these are my five uh, November ink pens three of the, them are new so exciting to do the progress report if the inks are a perfect match so that's it guys and i hope you enjoyed today's inking session with some dirty hands and yeah um i will give you an update as usual please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to get updated on the ink pairing of these pens by the end I'm, I'm rotating this to my journals and planners mostly journals so yeah five for this month thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on my next one bye